Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, it's a fun concept. It's one that I've been thinking about letting it simmer the last few days. I want to talk about Pat McGrath launches that I would love to see. Now something to keep in mind, I actually don't consider myself creative enough um, to really conceptualize products. I can push in a direction just based on what I've seen from the brand already, but Pat McGrath is such a genius. I want to put an idea on the table, but then would love to see what she does with it, you know? And there are some holes that I feel we have in her line, and there are just some items that I think would just be plain amazing to see. I also asked you guys on Instagram what you would like to see as well, and you also gave me uh, some really good ideas that I'm gonna share today, so let's just talk. Theoretically, what I would love for Pat McGrath to come out with. So I got this idea from Kelly Gooch, more so inspiration. Kelly comes up with really creative video ideas and I was watching her pretty much predicting what brands would come out with and she came up with these really amazing concepts. Very, very creative. I could never do a video like that, but it inspired me to think about what would I like to see from Pat McGrath because I'm always talking about brands and what I would like to see as if I have some sort of type of authority. <laughs> All right, so I wanna talk about Pat McGrath and what I think is missing from the line as well as just simply what I would like to see. So the first thing that I said, and none of these are really in any particular order, is bronzers because this is what is missing from the line and you just know Pat McGrath would kill a bronzer formula. So what I'm thinking is in the same packaging as the blushes, similar with that style, maybe a touch bigger, in like a bronzy metal type of shade. I think that would be a really great way to amp up just the classic black lacquer in a bronzy shade, and you just know her range would be absolutely amazing. Now I was thinking if she would go either glowy, like an amazing baked gelée formula, or matte, I was surprised she went mostly matte with her blushes, but I think I could see her doing a mix. But yes, I would love to see her come out with bronzers. Let's stay in the collection, and I would love to see her come out with cream blushers in similar style as her highlights. I think this would be really neat to have a glowy side on one side, and then a matte cream blush on the other. I feel like she'd really kill it. There were even an idea where it worked more so as a blush and highlight combination. Creams are so in, and I feel like to go along with the times and the trend, this would be a really appropriate time to launch cream blushes. And I think utilizing the style of packaging that she already has in her collection would be really cool. And if the colors of the blush could match the actual packaging, I think that would also be really cool. Or it could all be white and sleek like this, or even black really, just super duper luxe. I feel like again, all of these formulas she'd come out with would be fabulous, but I think a cream blush would be not only on trend, but also phenomenal from her brand. The next thing I would like to see is an updated primer. So she currently does have one primer in her line and that is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. I need a whole revamp. Given the trends, I need it to be glowy, like an amazing glowy formulation from Pat, preferably in more updated packaging than this. But I don't know, for some reason, I envision her doing this like Edward Cullen style <laughs> primer and where you're glimmering in the sun and you look naturally beautiful. Almost similar to the formula that Danessa Myricks came out with with the Glowy Serum. I really, really love it. So I think it would not only complement the primer that Pat McGrath has, but I think adding that seamless, effortless glow product to her line would really suit her line well, as well as the trends. Staying within the base, I would also love to see her launch a new foundation. It took a while for people to get on board with her original foundation because one, it was so pricey, and two, it was actually very skin-like and model-like. I would love to see a foundation formula that kind of matches her concealer formula. Something a little bit more full coverage and long wearing. I love her concealer. You guys know her concealer is one of my all-time favorite concealers, but I always talk about how it doesn't seem to match 
the current foundation that she has in her line because you get so much coverage with it. So if she could formulate a foundation similar to her concealer, it would sell out and it would go crazy. I know more people are into natural foundations, but I feel like having a second foundation with more coverage would complement her line. The last complexion product that I have that I would love to see is a highlighting palette, whether it be a trio or a quad. And I would love to see her advertise it as you can do whatever you want with it, but I want it to be a similar formula to the Bridgerton highlights where it's really glimmery. It looks great both on the face and on the eyes. I'd love to see a couple quads and one that would probably complement deeper skin tones better and one that would complement lighter skin tones better so you can get that great Lux formula in a quad. I'd love to see her black lacquered packaging in a big quad to complement that. I think that would be really neat. Let's get into the eyes. I have all types of ideas, you guys. I love Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes. There are so many ideas that I have for her brand. So the first thing that I definitely wanna see are more Blitz Astro Quads. She launched these a few years ago during the holidays, but basically it is a quad eyeshadow with her super glimmery special formula shades. So some color concepts that I think would be really neat. I want her to step away from creating an all-encompassing palette to where you can create a full look and think of just a lid top or kind of palette. So the first one would be kind of like a sparkle goth kind of palette. Think like a glittery black, really glittery silver, a glittery plum in there, a gl glittery green, something like that that's super duper grungy and kind of gothic vibes in that Blitz Astro formula would be super duper cool. Also something with really, really deep jewel tones, all colors that are across the color wheel, you know, nothing really monochromatic here in a super deep jewel tone in the Blitz Astro formula, right? And then also to complement that, maybe something really bright, like going away from the deep jewel tones to really, really colorful, even more pastel. I think Pat McGrath would kill a pastel palette, right? The next item that I have in terms of a big mothership palette, and this is wishful thinking. She most definitely won't do this because it's probably way too expensive, but oh my gosh, if I could get an all glitter Blitz Astral 10 pan mothership palette, I would die with colors all across the board. I would pay twice as much for it. I don't care. I don't think she'll do that, but I, I'm still throwing it out there into the universe because that would be great. Speaking of the 10 pan motherships, something that I feel is missing from her line that would be amazing is a true neutral 10 pan mothership palette. She currently doesn't have one that runs truly neutral to cool. She has a lot of pinks and warm ones as we all know, but I don't think she has a palette that sticks to the true neutral wearer. So I'm imagining the matte sides to be the not super cool, not gray, but a cooler kind of neutral, maybe also a pop of a neutral matte. And then on the Blitz Astral side, she has beautiful glamorous neutral shades, maybe like a bronze, a sh really cool, pretty champagne. Think Natasha Denona Glam, but in a Pat McGrath mothership term. She definitely needs that, I would totally wear that. <laughs> and then this is one that you guys definitely requested a lot when I asked you guys on Instagram, is we wanna see more blues and greens from Pat McGrath. And I'd love for her motherships to maybe be a little bit more monochromatic, we don't have a lot of colorful matte shades from Pat McGrath. It's not her style, and I don't want her to go out of her comfort zone, obviously, but how cool would it be to get like a purple, blue, dedicated palette in the mothership form? I know she would freaking kill it. I'll even let her put a gold in there if she wants and a brown, but if we can make a universal purple blue palette with crazy purple blue blitz astrals and complementary matte tones also playing in that colorful family those would be my dream palettes so i would love to see purple green again away from the pinks away from the neutrals away from the golds let's step out of our comfort zone but if she were to do the purple green i definitely could see her adding like more wearable emeralds khakis plums things that are toned down to become more wearable. Some other mothership ideas that I personally had would be like a pastel 
cotton candy kind of thing. You know how Natasha Denona did her pastel palette? I just have this feeling if Pat McGrath were to ever come out with a pastel palette, it would be absolutely insane. So Pat McGrath does an amazing job of making sure her colors work for deeper complexions and I just know she would kill a pastel palette. And don't get me started in the Blitz Astral shades that she would ugh, create, okay? Don't get me started with that idea. Again, it's not something that I can envision. I am not Pat McGrath. It's a concept that I would kill for Pat McGrath to conceptualize. Some matte pastels from her, I'm sure would be amazing as well. And then kind of the last thing that I wrote down that I would love to see from Pat McGrath is from one of her first baby mothership launches. You know, the MTHRSHP palettes. She launched, let me find them online for you so you can kind of visualize these color stories that she's never quite come out with color stories like these ever sent. So I'm talking Lovey and Rose, okay? Pat McGrath has never come out with a palette that has looked like this since. Like, let's take out the gold. You know she rarely experiments with colors like this. I would love to see a revamped 2022 version or even take the inspiration from this and pop it into a big mothership palette. Tack on four additional Blitz Astro shades. You got me sold. There are some other ones that came out in this launch that I would love to see her revamp in whatever way she chooses. Bronze Ambition as well. This one is her take on more warmer bronzy neutrals. And this one I would say of this kind of launch of her OG Mothership palettes, she probably has more similar colors to this currently in her line. But again, revamp it for 2022. And then the last one that I think would just be Perfection. I'm almost envisioning this particular palette um, as that neutral Mothership that I was talking about. I want to palette that is inspired by platinum bronze. This is one of my all-time favorite palettes from Pat McGrath. It is that cooler toned neutral palette. I want some additional Blitz Astro shades tacked onto this palette. I think that this palette is incredible. It's an OG OG palette and uh, if you had the pleasure of experiencing this, then you know. So imagine this color story inspiring a full-size mothership. So that is what I want to see from Pat McGrath. Like I said, I did ask you guys as well what you would like to see. And here were the overwhelming <laughs> ones that you guys said. So first of all, I would say about 85% of you said nothing pink, okay? Anything but pink. We don't even care what it is as long as it's not pink. So pinks are golds and browns were the popular ones that you guys were like, I can tell you what we don't want. <laughs> the overwhelming majority of you guys also said bronzers. Of course, that's also what I said. One thing that I thought was interesting that a handful of you guys said was Blitz Astral singles. So being able to buy the special shades in a singular format. I think that's interesting. I really like that idea, honestly. I think it'd be cool if she came out with the individuals and you could pop them into a palette. I like that idea and I think a lot of you guys would probably buy them. I would. Someone said a nude line of lipsticks and I wanted to point this out because I do believe Pat McGrath's nude colors in her lip line are a little bit weak. I love her lip colors, but if she advertised and organized a collection with nude lipsticks, I think that would be genius and again, her range would be incredible. I already know that. Some of you guys said eyebrow products because that is something that is missing from her line. Not something that I would necessarily be excited for, but yes, she could use brow products in her line. A number of you guys said you wanted an all matte palette from Pat McGrath. Some of you guys said you wanted it in a 10 pan form. For me, if I was thinking of matte mothership palettes, I would want them to be in the six pan form. But okay, she doesn't have any matte palettes. Me, I'm all about the glitters from Pat McGrath, so this one doesn't necessarily spark joy within me, but I mean, she could use it in her line, right? Someone said tinted moisturizer. I think because her foundation is a little bit more lightweight, it, that's not what is missing from her line, but she doesn't have a tinted moisturizer. Someone said setting spray. She doesn't have a setting spray. I just I can already see her ads if she were to come out with a setting spray, right? I just, uh, like, so misty and mysterious. I already, yeah. <laughs> cool toe palette, that's kind of what I talked about. And then lastly, this one's 
stood out to me because I am a bridal makeup artist, but a bridal kind of palette. I can just envision Pat McGrath's satin shades being incredible. So I would be interested to see if she came out with like a whole bridal collection or a bridal kit I think would be really cool. Yeah, so anyways, those are all of the launches that I would love to see come from Pat McGrath. Let me know, do you have any great ideas, some stuff that you would love to see Pat come out with? For me, at the end of the day, I just want something different, you know? No pinks, browns, or golds. Give me color, Pat. Come on. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.